Hi YouTube friends, it's Lola from Lola's Life Lessons. How is everybody doing today? It is December 31st, it's New Year's Eve. I'm gonna be saying goodbye to 2018 and hello to 2019. Okay, so this video is about Moldavite and my journey with Moldavite, which was going to start tomorrow on January 1st, 2019. Now something has happened which has made me change my mind and has actually convinced me to actually start um, right away. Start right away working with Moldavite. If you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button and click that notification bell for future videos. Now something has happened which has made me change my mind and has actually convinced me to actually start um, right away. Start right away working with Moldavite. And now, this is what happened. Um, okay, so if you haven't already watched my video called Moldavite Synchronicities, I urge you to watch. Go ahead and maybe pause this video, go watch, this vid go watch that video, and then come on back to this video. Now I'm gonna put a link below and I'm also going to put a link to it in the cards up here or up here. All right, so this morning I woke up and I basically went to my computer and I, I was basically just checking my, my YouTube for comments. Um, I love reading your comments and I love replying to them as well. And um, I, basically read a comment and it was a very interesting comment and I want to um, share that comment with you. I'm just going to read it to you. But I did ask the person if it was okay if I um, shared the comment on my channel. So this is what I read when I went to my channel. And trust me, this is all gonna make sense when I go over this. So. This was from uh, Tonya, uh, sorry, Tanya and Sean. And so it's basically, hi Lola. Um, she was basically commenting on my video uh, regarding Moldavite synchronicity. So she says, hi Lola, this is an amazing story. I believe that the child was highly sensitive to the energy in the house and was drawn to it. Now, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just play a snippet of that video so that everybody can understand what this comment was regarding because in my video Moldavite synchronicity I talked about a boy coming into a little boy coming into my home and finding the Moldavite that I had lost that had disappeared that I had no idea where it was but just for you guys uh, that haven't watched that last video I might just play a snippet of it so that you guys can have the content context of it so I'm gonna play it put it right here and I, I actually, I noticed that the child, um, the child, she didn't say the age of the child, it didn't really come up, but I heard, I would say was approximately four years old. And um, the child wasn't talking and the child was pointing um, at certain things that the child wanted. And so finally she said to me, um, you know, my child was diagnosed with autism, but the child was pointing um, at the windowsill. But the child wasn't pointing at my Moldavite or my citrine. My child was pointing at something that wasn't there. And the child was reaching for something on my windowsill, but there was nothing there. The child proceeded to take something from the windowsill and put it on their finger. Okay. Um, but it appeared that the child that was putting a ring on their finger. But for the people that saw my last video about uh, Moldavite, I had mentioned that the first piece of Moldavite that I had bought was a, uh, a ring. And when I first put the ring in my hand, I didn't feel anything. I didn't have any sort of connection to it. And the Moldavite just like poof, disappeared. Okay, so, um, so now that you're back from watching that little snippet, so I'm going to continue with Tonya and Sean's comment. So she basically says, I wear my Moldavite with um, rose quartz 
daily and my life is just so full of love, peace, and filled with abundance. The synchronicities around me are pretty amazing. My husband notices different happenings as well. Numbers, talk of a particular car, then we'll see eight to nine of the car we just spoke of, etc. I haven't had any negative experiences. I read somewhere that Moldavite will exaggerate those fears and thought forms many are holding on to. Daily grounding is important. So of course, okay, I read this comment and I replied to that um, comment later. But the thing about the comment was, um, Tonya had said in her comment about the rose quartz. So um, when I, when she commented about the rose quartz, I realized to myself why it was that I was kind of putting off wearing the Moldavite because I had mentioned in my other videos to you guys that when I wear a Moldavite, bad stuff happens and you know, I'm, I'm, I was always afraid to wear it because something always happens. I have no doubts that Moldavite works because it does work, but it's just that I go through a lot of bad stuff to get to the good stuff. Um, so getting back to her comment, she basically said about the rose quartz. Now I don't, I don't have any rose quartz in my house. And there was a time there back in 2012 where I was working with crystals and I had a lot of other crystals and my daughter at the time, um, she was around 10 years old and for some reason she got very interested in the crystals as well and had a really nice crystal collection. So she doesn't really work with them very much anymore. So I went to my daughter and I said to her, who is now in her teens, and I said to her, oh, do you happen to have um, a, rose wart, a rose quartz crystal? And she says, well, why? And I said, well, I think I, I wanna start working with it again. Now, when I said that, my husband, who was in the other room, said, what did you just say? And I said, oh, I'm just looking for a rose, a rose quartz crystal. I'm going to be working with the Moldavite again. And I mentioned that um, uh, one of my subscribers had made a comment about working ro with rose quartz and Moldavite together. He looked at me with the weirdest look on his face and he said, oh, my God. Uh, I think we're having one of those moments again. And I said, what are you talking about? And he said, okay, uh, I'll be right back. So he came out of the bedroom with a little gift. And I said, what's this? And he says, well, I have a little gift for you. And it also happens to be our anniversary today, December 31st. We always go for dinner. We go to see a movie. And we've done that um, since we've been together. And, um, but you know, this year we had said we weren't going to give each other gifts. So I was actually not expecting anything. Well, he handed me a little gift and I was shocked. Um, and I hope you're watching this, Tonya and Sean, but I, as I said to you in the comment, I asked you if I, if I could have your permission to share your comment. Well, would you believe that the gift that my husband gave to me was uh, quartz crystal. <laughs> he went out and bought this for me. He has been holding on to this and um, he bought this for me when he did his Christmas shopping. And it was, this is a really huge coincidence because you left the comment and then I asked my daughter for rose quartz. He overheard it and then went and gave me the gift. So after seeing this uh, happenings today, I've decided that I'm going to start working with both uh, the rose quartz and also my Moldavite. Um, I'm not gonna wait until tomorrow. This is something that I'm going to do right now. And I'm going to be wearing these out tonight and I'm going to I've said to you guys that I've only worn them, um, I've only, I only wear them where, let's see the Moldavite has me all spacey now, that I only wear the Moldavite for two hours at a time, but now I'm feeling confident that I can wear it all the time because I will have the rose quartz 
to work with it. So um, I want to thank you, uh, Tonya and Sean, for that comment. And I hope I'm saying your name right. Um, um, I hate saying the names wrong, but if I'm saying your name wrong, I apologize. And I just wanted to share that with you all, that something spectacular is starting to happen here. And I'm really excited. And um, I hope you guys will follow me on this journey of working with Moldavite for this year. And um, I will be giving you guys updates. And I hope that you guys are going to be celebrating New Year's Eve with the ones that you love, with your friends. Be safe tonight. Um, you know, try to not drive, try to Uber, try to take public transit if you can, enjoy yourselves. And I want to wish all of you guys a, um, a happy, happy new year. This video will be uploaded on December, uh, sorry, on January 1st, 2019. Can't believe how fast this year has gone by and I'm sure 2019 will be going by just as fast. So again, Happy New Year, everyone. I love each and every one of you, and I appreci appreciate each and every one of you. So I want you guys just to stay happy, stay healthy, and bye for now.